Hi guys, welcome to Elephant Robotics channel. Today I'm going to closely look at the performance of my Cobra 320 M5 stack version and see how it works. My Cobra 320 M5 stack is an advanced version of my Cobra products. Found in Shenzhen, China in 2016, Elephant Robotics is a new high-tech enterprise in China focusing on robot R&D and production, platform software development, and intelligent manufacturing services. Inside the box, there are a robotic arm, a charger, an emergency stop, a base, and some tools. According to official instruction, the design is easy to use and all-in-one. My Cobra 320 M5 stack weighs 3 kg with a payload of 1 kg. The working range is 320 mm. Although its size is relatively small, the operation might be simple, and it is said that it can cooperate with people and work safely. This arm has brushless DC servos. According to its manual, its payload is 1 kg, and it can achieve a repeatable positioning accuracy of 0.5 mm. Now, let's test these two parameters. After the testing, we can see the number here is around 8 to 9, and it doesn't fluctuate that much, which means the accuracy is relatively high. In this test, we can see the arm is able to carry 1 kg weight, but its accuracy is affected a little bit. The M5 stack version is equipped with two display screens supporting M5 stack applications and extensions. My Cobra 320 M5 stack version has imported teach and drag scripts in it, so we can achieve this function using several buttons. In terms of programming languages and software, we have summarized some categories here, including development environment, library on PC, basic firmware, and Atom firmware. After being tested, we can see all the mentions of where and programming languages are achievable. In Rose, we can open the Ubuntu OS and set up the environment so that we can move the arm or use moving module to control it. My Cobra 320 M5 stack version can be motivated using Python in a quick way. In Python, you can use these two functions to move it send call function or send angle functions. Now let's see how we can move the arm using my Broccoli. First, rotate the robotic arm to shape, and then use the get angle or get course function to get the current angles and coordinates. Or we can read the parameters in the right of the screen in my Broccoli and record them. Once we have the angles or coordinates, we will use set angle or set call functions to move the arm. We can also log into RoboFlow to enter the main control. In this way, we can also control our robotic arm. There are some end defectors and accessories to choose from. We had a gripper and a camera here. And now we will closely look at how they work. Now let's look at how we can use a gripper. It can be installed in minutes on the robot arm, and our gripper makes its configuration and programming fast and intuitive. The camera has a wide range of uses. It is suitable for face recognition, smart screen, access control, and medical uses, and so on. So, the end effectors can be connected to explore more possibilities. But we'll look at this arm closely, and there are some pros and cons. Let's look at its advantages first. Firstly, the appearance is relatively beautiful. The ID design is very good. At the same time, it has dual controller solution and two screens which provides a lot of possibilities. In terms of hardware, it provides many interfaces for development and interaction. And in the software level, it supports almost all development methods. And also, it supports extensions like gripper, camera, and a variety of intelligent kit accessories. However, there are some disadvantages. Firstly, the API is not unified to different development methods. And if users want to switch to another development environment, they have to burn different firmware. Secondly, when the arm is moving, sometimes it shakes a little bit. And thirdly, in Loboflow, demand for controlling the arm cannot be extricated every time. This needs to be modified later. Okay guys, this is all of this video. If you like it, please give up the thumbs up and share it to your friends. Hope you enjoy the robot world. We will see you in the next time. Bye.